What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Claro. And this is a trailer reaction for a trailer called Secret Invasion. What? Yeah. It's the latest from... The DC? From James Gunn? It's the latest Marvel Studios show starring Samuel L. Jackson as somebody. Mm -hmm. Is it Nick Fury? Probably not. Who knows? Uh, we're going to get into it now. Amelia Clark plays somebody. Somebody. Um, Kira? Probably. Kira? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> From Star Wars. Let's just watch it and then who knows? Maybe they'll actually give us character names in this and we'll know who we're talking about. Let's do this. Fury. Fury. Since you've been gone. Since you've been gone. Things have gotten much worse. There's my boy. Oh, shit. How do you think I came back? One of the Kremlin, casually. You're in no shape for this fight that lies before us, old friend. This oh. is personal. Very few of us know about the he walls would use his mausoleum as a armory. Raged on this planet. Do you feel responsible? Shit! Damn! He's just eye out the whole time. Where are the Avengers? This war is one I have to fight alone. Asses? He looks. Wanted man on the planet. What's up, Rody? How you doing? You don't know what they have planned for you. The great Nick Fury. That's terrifying. Yeah. There's a shot of Martin Freeman with like green, and I feel like that's a spoiler. <laughs> uh, I think that this show is going to be a show where anybody can be a scrawl at any time. And like when people are scrolls or not is going to be what the narrative storytelling of it is, and that's gonna be really cool. So why are they why do they have the like lab of people? Because they're growing they're growing an army of scrolls. Oh. Right? That's how scrolls procreate? I don't know, but it looks cool as shit. Yeah, it's yeah. giving me Winter Soldier vibes, which yeah. is my favorite Marvel movie. Yeah, uh, and I like that it doesn't feel super heroic. No, yeah, no, 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 yeah. It's just it's, like it a feels detective very different. story. Yeah, that was the yeah that was rad. Yeah, it's like a dark, gritty, you know, like a little bit grittier, like the very thing. light on yeah. CGI, uh -huh. right? Like obviously, like with the scroll stuff, there is, but. Um, light on it in mm -hmm. terms of the, it, it felt like they were in real places mm -hmm. which has been the complaint about some marvel movies lately right yeah um going back to like the flash thompson in the completely empty street new york shot from mm -hmm. no way home yeah uh and so yeah it just it feels like a, a real place mm -hmm. on film yeah which it's weird that like that's the bar for the mcu right now but uh i i, I like that this is so dour and bleak and Film noir -y and yeah, yeah, the it's, cast is unreal. It's a different vibe. I, I'm, I'm, I dig it, honestly. Good to see Rhodey show up. Yeah, yeah, Ben Mendelsohn, man, him and Nick Fury, let's go. Robin Sparkles. Robin Sparkles, is she going to a mall? That is the question of the day. I hope there's a mall in the movie at some point. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That was mind-bendingly cool. Yeah, it was fun. I'm surprised. I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be another Marvel. But that, the, the, that was cool. The Marvel shows have been kind of like that, where it's like, I've enjoyed all of them, and mm -hmm. we've seen all of them. Mm -hmm. I don't, like, WandaVision really stands out, and most of Miss Marvel really stands out, mm -hmm. in terms of the TV side of Marvel thus far for me. Yeah. And I think that what WandaVision and um, Miss Marvel had, that Loki and Captain Falcon and the Winter Soldier, that those, and um, there was another one, Hawkeye, didn't have is that they 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 had very specific tones that they were going for. Mm -hmm. 
And what I didn't like about Miss Marvel was when it leaned into the MCU stuff Mm -hmm. and leaned away from the, like, Indian family Mm storyline, which I thought was so strong. Yeah. And Miss even uh, WandaVision at the end kind of started to pull into, well, now it's a superhero fight above the city. Mm -hmm. And that was less interesting to me personally than the earlier stuff of that season. Yeah. And so seeing this show have such a strong, like, visual point of view and tonal point of view right away in this trailer gives me a lot of hope for this show having like a really strong tonal setting to live inside of. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that that's when Marvel has been hitting it the best, mm-hmm. right? Like, like Shang-Chi had this like really like, um, prodigal son story. And when yeah, it leaned yeah. into that, it was so good. Yeah, I agree. And I think that the more Marvel can find those like tones to live inside of, and yes, mm-hmm. still connect to the other things, mm-hmm. uh, but, but, but really like center the movies and these stories around, a kind of story they want to tell within that universe. I think they're stronger that way. Yeah. And um, it gives me a lot of hope for this movie. I, I, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I hope this one doesn't fly under the radar. And it looks like it's going to be fun. Yeah. yeah. June. We're going to be so much less busy then. Isn't yeah. that great? Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you are going to Star Wars Celebration in a few days, don't forget to come by our panel on Friday. We're going to be uh, on uh, the HoloNet news stage talking about Battle Scars, mm-hmm. the new Sam Maggs Jedi Survivor novel. Mm-hmm. A prequel to that, sequel to the first game, Jedi Fallen Order. If you like those things, come talk with us about them. It's going to be really fun. Mm-hmm. We're going to have pins. You can have a little um, Nerd yeah. Sister Marin, or Nerd Sister, yeah, Nerd Sister Marin. And also there's a Clarus Kestis pin. <laughs> so um, we're going to be giving stuff like that away. And it's going to be a good time. Yeah. If you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry. And we must feed her. Today that algorithm goddess is your favorite person. Amelia Clark. Amelia Clark. Always. Who's playing woman in hoodie. Um, With gun. <laughs> I feel like she's going to be really important. Yeah. I, th- th- I have no idea who that character is. Is she a scrawl? Probably. Who knows? Or maybe she'll sometimes be a scrawl and sometimes not. We'll, we'll find out when we see the show. If you want to follow us around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polari. And as always, we'll do something nerdy tonight. Bye, guys. Bye.